Recently, I got into yet another Twitter battle about a subject... I won't say it's near and dear to my heart, but it's a pet peeve of mine, and it's something that really, really bothers me. And that is justifying piracy and trying to say that you are doing the right thing in terms of preservation of digital property. Now, I understand... Let me step back a little bit and explain this. Piracy is by any means acquiring or distributing material that you did not pay for, particularly intellectual property, whether it's a book that you photocopy from the library or whether it's an audiobook that you've downloaded or a video game that you've downloaded and or distributed to your friends. Uh, if you, you know, download video game ROMs and hack Nintendo Wiis or provide those ROMs on Nintendo Classic Minis or anything like that to resell. If you're doing anything where you are taking those properties that do not belong to you and either acquiring them or distributing them, you are a pirate. Now, people want to justify their actions. People want to say that what they're doing is not wrong. And this debate rages and rages and rages all across the internet. And I have been arguing with people for like 25 years, since the mid-90s, about this issue. Now, I am not holier than thou. I have downloaded lots of things that do not belong to me. TV shows, movies, video games. I have all kinds of things that are downloaded that I probably shouldn't have. But I make no assertion that I have the right to do what I'm doing. I know that I am doing something that is at very least a gray area, if not completely wrong. I know that having a hard drive full of my favorite TV and movie shows in case the internet goes out and Netflix doesn't work, uh, you know, that sounds like a great idea, and have I probably paid for a lot of these shows in the past? I own them on DVD, maybe, or I've had access to them on paid platforms. And you make excuses to yourself. Anybody who does this makes excuses to themselves and says, well, I've paid for this product in the past. I have every right. I'm not distributing it. I'm not selling it. So I'm not really a, pro uh, a pirate. I'm just, you know, I have this stuff for my own collection or for preservation purposes. Uh, I want to rip all of my DVDs to a hard drive so that, uh, you know, if the DVDs get scratched, I still have access to the content that I've purchased. That's not piracy. Well, yes, it is. Uh, is it a gray area? Uh... Yes, I mean, you're probably not going to go to jail for doing that. But fact is, it specifically states in the terms of use for all of these properties, whether it's video or video games or movies, TV, audiobooks, whatever, it says specifically in the terms of service for these things that you may not duplicate, transfer to a storage device, or do anything like that with these intellectual properties. And there's a reason for that. Because these things belong to somebody else. Somebody else has created these properties, they own these properties, and they have the right to make an income off of every time these properties get used. So a lot of people argue, especially in the video game world, that games get abandoned, and they cite examples like the Scott Pilgrim video game, which was pulled down from servers because of licensing issues, and they say, there's no way to get your hands on this game now other than by downloading pirating the game and playing it via an emulator and they're absolutely correct there there is no other way to play that game except by illegal means however if you're going to do that you have to understand that you're doing something wrong i'm okay with you know stepping in those gray areas now and again what i'm not okay with is people campaigning on twitter and facebook and all these other programs trying to convince people that what they're doing is some altruistic, greater good sort of thing where they're gathering all these intellectual properties and storing them in one place where they'll be preserved forever because video games deserve to be preserved or uh, these, these movie companies or these video game companies, they don't care about uh, the preservation of these properties. Once they've made their money, they move on. Uh, but what we see is 
these companies do re-release these games. Not all of them, not all the time, but a lot of these games get re-released on future platforms, or they get released on standalone consoles, or they may get released on something like Google Stadia, or uh, PlayStation Plus, or Xbox Live, or, you know, various means and various places, a lot of these games do get re-released. And are some of them going to be lost forever? Yes. But let's talk about that preservation aspect. Is it your responsibility to preserve these things like some kind of, you know, library of Congress in your own little house? Is that your responsibility, and is that a legitimate reason to publicly promote piracy? I don't think so. If you have the desire to do that, that's fine. But it should be your dirty little secret, because they have every right, every right, to come and take those things away from you. And I would not blame a company. There's a lot of talk right now about Nintendo tightening up on their IPs and making, you know, taking down uh, websites that are distributing ROMs and things like that. And everybody's all mad at Nintendo. And I'm like, look, guys, this stuff belongs to them. It's their property. They can do what they want with it. They can stop you from playing that game forever. And that is their right. If they want a game to be lost to the annals of time, that is their right to take that away from you. It belongs to them. If you were to come into my house and steal my coffee mug and say, oh, but you were going to throw it in the garbage and I want to make sure that, that coffee mug lasts forever, I would be fully within my rights to call the police, come into, the, into your house, take my coffee mug back, and throw it in the garbage because it's mine, and I can do what I want with it, and it's none of your business. So, I really get irritated when people try to become holier-than-thou proponents of, you know, piracy is the only way to preserve all these games. There are legitimate history foundations. There are legitimate places within the government and within private sector, like history foundations, museums, things like that, where they actually do preserve video games, and they do it by legitimate means. Whether it's getting in touch with a publisher or a developer and getting the rights to something uh, in order to develop it, or whether it is purchasing the physical games and making them available in a museum, that's preservation to me. Uh, the odd Tom, Dick, and Harry out there on the street just downloading ROMs and having complete libraries of NES and Super NES and TurboGrafx-16, that's not preservation, that's theft. Anyways guys, thanks for listening, stay classy.